I'm delighted to be here on behalf of the United Kingdom to give our support to this event, in particular welcoming this particular innovative forum for business as part of Montenegro's hosting of the International Day Against Homophobia Forum. I'd like to congratulate Montenegro on the leadership role that is played on this agenda. Uh, hosting the forum here demonstrates the country's commitment to equality and human rights. And this business element is a further testament to the organizers' desire to make this meeting practical, inclusive, and I hope proactive. I'd also like to congratulate the Prime Minister and his advisor, Johan uh, Kojicic, uh, for taking the lead in this initiative. Uh, we are proud to have worked with Jovan, the Montenegrin authorities, and with important and active civil society organisations on a number of campaigns, including several pride parades, the national LGBT strategy, educational initiatives, and healthcare protocols. Championing this agenda has at times required bravery and determination, particularly to deal with, overcome and learn from the occasional setback. But we are confident in taking this forward and in the leadership commitment to delivering Montenegro's strategy for improving the lives of LGBT citizens everywhere. This agenda is important for its own values and for its own sake. But it is also linked to Montenegro's Euro-Atlantic aspirations. The path to European Union membership in particular may sometimes seem like a compl complex mass of bureaucratic administration and legalese. The EU acquis runs to more than 100,000 pages. But the European Union and NATO are fundamentally communities of values. Values of inclusivity, values of equality, and values of respect. Taking this forward approach on LGBT rights is a firm commitment to those values. And delivering on this commitment will be a marker of Montenegro's progress towards its membership ambitions. These values are equally relevant to the business community, simply because diversity is key to prosperity. Where competition is fierce and the global economic climate remains difficult, innovation will drive growth and success. Innovation comes from embracing diversity. If everybody is thinking the same, then no one's thinking. No nation, big or small, can afford to create an environment in which any of its citizens feel inhibited or excluded from reaching their full potential and making their full contribution. The UK non-governmental organisation Stonewall uh, produces an annual ranking of LGBT-friendly employers with hundreds of businesses in the UK vying for the coveted top spot. Stonewall works with more than 700 employers in the UK to help create more inclusive workplaces. In 2014, their award went to the social entrepreneurial enterprise Gentoo, based in Sunderland in the northeast of England. This year, group awards were given to American Express UK, BP, and EDF Energy. They and other businesses featured recognise that people perform better when they can be themselves. An adage that is supported by prominent and successful business people everywhere, including, in the, in the case of the UK, the openly gay head of HSBC, Antonio Simoes, who said that being fully authentic in his work made him a better leader and was a key part of his rise to becoming CEO. That is not to say this is easy. 
opening up <coughs> to, to this diversity and opening up opportunity for all will only be possible when we find ways to eliminate discrimination, homophobia and transphobia from our workplaces and from our societies. We do that through legal and social means, by making discrimination unacceptable by law, by punishing those found guilty of it, but also by encouraging open attitudes, through socialisation, through championing those who lead by example. And that is why we are delighted to be here today with our friends and partners from Montenegro uh, and beyond, supporting this forum and supporting this vital agenda. Thank you.